Robin David Siegel, better known by the stage name Robbie Benson, is an American actor, director, singer, and teacher. Early life, Benson was born in Dallas, Texas, the son of Frieda Ann, a singer, actress, and business promotions manager, and Jerry Siegel, a writer. His family is Jewish. Benson was raised in New York City and took his mother's maiden name as his stage name when he was 10. Career Benson made his film debut with an uncredited role in Wait Until Dark as the Boy Tossing Ball and his Broadway debut in The Rothschilds. Benson had an early role on the daytime soap Search for Tomorrow. As a film actor, Benson was well known for teenage roles in coming of age films, such as 1972's Jewelry, 1973's Jeremy, and as Billy Joe McAllister in 1976's Ode to Billy Joe. He was listed as one of 12 promising new actors of 1976 in John Willis' Screen World, Volume 28, and auditioned for the role of Luke Skywalker in Star Wars but lost the role to Mark Hamill. Benson also acted the role of George Gibbs in the 1977 television film Our Town based on the play by Thornton Wilder. In 1975, Benson appeared in Death Be Not Proud and Lucky Lady. In 1977, he starred in One on One and the TV movie The Death of Ritchie. In 1978, he co-starred in The End and also Ice Castles, co-starring Lynn Holly Johnson, who was a U.S. national figure skating medalist. Benson, who had never ice skated before, learned to skate in order to film the movie, which had numerous skating scenes, including ice hockey. In 1980, Benson starred opposite Linda Gravener in the Orion film, Die Laughing. In the film, Benson plays a cabbie hoping to lead his band to a victory in a music contest, but he gets mixed up with a dead scientist and his top-secret laboratory monkey. This monkey is sought by a U.S. government official and a Russian criminal syndicate. The same year, Benson also starred in the movie Tribute opposite Jack Lemmon. In 1981, he co-starred in the film The Chosen, based on the book of the same name by Chaim Potok. The story looked at the lives of two young Jewish friends, one of whom is Hazy Dick. Benson was asked to play the role of the modern Orthodox boy, but he turned it down, insisting on playing the more religious part, explaining, I wanted the challenge of playing Daniel, the ultra-Orthodox boy. The New York Times gave the film a mixed review, but noted that Benson's character was full of a gentle inquisitiveness that cannot help but win the audience's sympathy. Literary critic Harold Bloom notes that the film rights to the book were originally bought by a Methodist fundamentalist from New Orleans, and explains why he wanted to see it turned into a film. Later in 1981 Benson accepted an offer to take over the romantic lead in the Broadway hit The Pirates of Penzance opposite Carla DeVito, who had gained fame touring with Meat Loaf and critical acclaim in Pirates. Immediately impressed with DeVito, both professionally and personally, he told the show's musical director she was the girl he wanted to marry. In 1983, he starred in Running Brave, a movie based on the story of Billy Mills, a North American Indian brought up on the reservation, destined against all odds to become the 10,000 meters gold medalist in the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. In 1984, he co-starred with Paul Newman in Harry and Son. In 1986, he played Detective Cliff Brady in the short-lived television series Tough Cookies. In 1993, Benson and DeVito wrote the screenplay for the Helen Slater suspense film Betrayal of the Dove. The role Benson is most known for was the voice of the Beast in the 1991 Disney animated feature film Beauty and the Beast. He reprised the role in the Kingdom Hearts video game series. This role led to other voice work for animated features including the Prince Valiant cartoon series The Legend of Prince Valiant and Exo Squad. Benson was also the voice of Prince Alexander in the computer game King's Quest VI, Air Today, Gone Tomorrow. In 2000, Benson was the voice of Drake in Dragonheart, A New Beginning. Musical accomplishments include writing We're Not Alone sung by wife DeVito in the movie The Breakfast Club, co-writing Nobody Makes Me Crazy Like You Do on Diana Ross Swept Away and several songs on DeVito's album Wake Em Up in Tokyo. A number of his original songs are featured in his multimedia book I'm Not Dead. Yet. And he was producer, composer, arranger and musician on daughter Lyric Benson's album Lyric's Love Light Revolution.
In late 2012 Benson announced his intention to produce a new album featuring DeVito. His 2007 novel Who Stole the Funny? A novel of Hollywood landed Benson on the LA Times bestseller list. Benson's medical memoir, I'm Not Dead. Yet. Was released in June 2012. Benson has been a professor at New York University's Tisch School of the Arts, the University of Utah and the University of South Carolina. It was announced he would serve as a professor of practice in the fall of 2013 at Indiana University. Personal life, Benson married singer and actress Carla DeVito on July 11, 1982. They have two children, daughter Lyric and son Zephyr. Benson was born with a heart defect which necessitated heart valve surgery in 1984 and 1998. He is an activist and fundraiser for heart research, which, in 2004, led him to write the book, lyrics and music for an original off-Broadway play called Open Heart, in which he also starred. He practices transcendental meditation. References External links, official Robbie Benson site Robbie Benson at the Internet Movie Database, Robbie Benson at All Movie, Robbie Benson's Scrapbook, Fan Site, Robbie Benson's Speakers Bureau.